Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Williams and I'm going to show you how to navigate the underline.io software that we're going to be using both for the American Association of Physics Teachers, AAPT Conference, and the Physics Education Research Conference, or PERC. So first things first, you need to find out how to get there. Underline.io is just a website, so all you need to do is start in your usual browser and type underline.io like you would with any other website. Awesome, so now that this is loading, you'll see that Underline has quite a few other things going on. It does discover, it has a discover tab, a conferences tab, subjects, there's things for a lot of people, but what we are here for is a conference. So we're gonna go over to the conference tab and you'll see that the first one that shows up is the AAPT summer meeting. PERC is listed as a completely separate event. So I'm going to show you how to use the software, but keep in mind that PERC is not going to be a sub-event under the AAPT conference. It'll become live on Monday and you'll see it as a completely separate conference on the same website. So we're gonna get started clicking view and it's going to take us here. If you are logged in, if you are not logged in and instead you get a screen that tells you that you need a ticket, you need to log in or create an account on underline.io using the same email that you registered for the conference with with AAPT. So if you are having problems logging in to underline.io, there will be a login button in the top right hand corner. We can log out just so I can show you this. Most likely what the issue is, is that you are logging in using a different email than the one that you registered for the conference with. All right, so we're going to hit log in. Here's my email, this is my password, we click login, and now we can successfully access um, the APT summer meeting because I'm registered. So now we can go back to the reception area for the APT meeting. You'll notice immediately that there's announcements on the right. This is going to give you any updated last minute information that might be happening in the conference. For example, if a session gets postponed because a speaker can't make it, a plenary is getting its time changed, whatever might happen, announcements are a good place to check just in case you're having some problems. You might find that your session got moved to a different time. Um, hopefully nothing too drastic like an entire session moving will happen during the conference, but if you need to figure something out or you're confused, check the announcements. There might be something about it there. On our reception area, you'll see our summer meeting 2020, our date, APT, and the list of sponsors. They're in different tiers. You can see them all here depending on how much money they put into the conference and you can click any one of them and it'll take you to their expo site and we'll get a little bit more on the expo site as we go down our menu but for now we're going to go back to this reception and go down the rest of this menu on the left hand side of your screen you see a little house with reception listed under it and that'll take you to the main screen that we've been on so far and we can immediately go to the one below it which is called schedule and it's going to take us to the underline.io version of the online program. It is separated by days in tabs on the top of the page. So July 19th, July 20th, 21st, 22nd. PERC is not included in here again, so PERC will have its own program on its own conference page that will have its own stuff going on. On the right hand side at the same level is a little drop down menu that says all tracks and teaser talks track one. And you'll notice that these are the different groupings of your sessions and poster presentations. So if you know for sure that you wanna see this particular presentation that is for example in section PAR.07, then you will just be able to click that and it'll shorten the list that you're seeing both by the day you're looking at because of the tabs over here and by the track that you're looking at or the the specific room that you want to be in so think of these as room numbers you want to know your room number you want to be there on the right date you don't have to so i'm going to go through all tracks and show you what it looks like if you notice that this one has live on it this is our test one for showing people how to navigate the um the website first but all of these will be live starting on sunday we have our welcome orientation and these are in temporal order so 10 a.m first then 11 a.m you see this is the title of the event welcome and orientation 
as I have my cursor hovering over the name, the sub things that are happening in that larger title of the event show up. So for welcome and orientation, you can see from 10 to 10.30, there's actual welcome and orientation portion of the event. Then from 10.30 to 11.30, you see that in this welcome orientation section, there is the plenary. And so we can go through, um, here's the title, the sub thing pops up, you see the time. The times on my computer are all listed in my local time zone, which is Eastern time. Conveniently for you all, that is also the same time zone as your program on the AAPT website. If you are logging on to underline.io from a different time zone, the times that you see in these pages will be in your local time zone. Hopefully that's convenient for you. Um, and the thing that happens right now to the right of the time is the list of the room that you're in. So the welcome and orientation and the very first plenary speaker are on what we call the main stage. So that's the room. If you're going through and say you want to try out this particular session, we want to go to the AAPT Sp Speakers Bureau. We can see, oh, using spandex to teach ph physics is the first one on the docket or the first one in this list. Um, that seems really interesting. So what you do is you click on that. And this will bring you to the specific room. So when you're going to a session, you will notice that each of these talks are available now. I can start watching these now. If you go into a particular talk, sorry for the car noises, you'll have a page for this talk. You can ask particular questions before the talk start, before the live session. So at any point when you watch this video, you can ask a question. Other people can like that question to show that they really want it to be answered during the live Q&A. And you can respond in threaded replies to a particular question. You have the title and the authors. You see the video, but you can also get the slides directly as the PDF here is loading. And you can see the abstract uh, of the talk on the next tab over. So before you go to sessions, it is expected of you as a participant to hopefully have the time to watch these videos and think about some questions that you would like to talk about in a live Q&A session. Now, I bet what you're thinking, what do I do in the live Q&A session? Glad you asked. If you go back to the, this particular room, for that day. So we're now back in room PARA.01. That's the room that we're in. It's set here. It has all of these talks. You've watched a couple of them. You're really interested in talking with the presenters and asking them questions live. You'll notice that there is an actual presentation tile that is the Q&A session. So on the day and time listed in your program, that these presentations are happening. What you're going to actually be doing is going into these Q&A sessions and these will be like live video chat areas for you to be able to interact with the presenters of the talks that you're interested in, if this will load for me, um, and ask them questions. There will be a moderator who will be helping make sure that everything goes smoothly. You'll be able to talk with all of them, both in the chat and video. Um, let's see if we can get this to load. This might not be loading because it is. Awesome. Okay, cool. Sorry that took a second. I have a lot of things running on my computer. So what happens here it, when you come to this right now, it is a video. This is purely for us to be able to make these presentation instruction videos for you, for you as presenters slash um, participants to figure out how to get here and know what this looks like. But what this will look like in the actual Q&A session is a video chat. You'll be able to see all the different people. You'll be able to see the moderator. You'll be able to see the person who is talking at that moment in time. You'll be able to mute yourself, have video on, have video off. If anything happens, moderators will be able to turn off your video or mute your video. Um, you can also see some of the abstracts. There's a Q&A tab there, and you can also use the questions um, chat box to your right. And again, now you can see a little bit more about how threaded replies would work. So someone asked a question, two other people liked it saying that's a really good question. 
and then other people responded in a reply themselves if they had the answer. So if another presenter is talking, you can still put something into the question chat box and maybe the presenter that you actually wanted to hear a response from responds in the chat before they audibly respond in the actual live video. So this is what the sessions of the talks will look like. You might be wondering, however, what does a poster session look like? Poster sessions are really, really similar, except for the fact that there is no live Q&A session. So as a presenter of a talk, when your talk time is listed in the program, what you do is you go to the Q&A session and you wait and see who shows up and asks you questions about your talk. If you are a poster presenter, there is no Q&A session. So when you are listed in the program, what you should do is go to your particular presentation where your poster is uploaded and monitor, like though you were in office hours, what questions show up in your chat. And then you answer questions in that chat for that time. So for a poster, just to keep it easy, I'm keeping it on the talk so I don't have to keep navigating, but for a poster, you will see a PDF of the document that you have uploaded as a presenter. If you are someone who is coming to learn more about the poster, you will see this poster. You can ask questions in this chat off to the right. And during the poster presenter time, the presenter's job is to be there answering the questions live. Sound good? Hopefully that's clear. So that is how we are navigating the schedule, right? So now we're in the reception again. We went through the schedule. Um, let's make sure that we go over that real quick. We have the titles, we have the times, we have the rooms, and you can navigate the different days from the, from the taps at the top of the schedule. So we've already gone through a little bit about what clicking through the schedule looks like. Now we're gonna continue down the left-hand pane of the underline.io interface. The thing right below schedule is called the main stage. This is where a lot of the plenary talks and big events are going to be happening. It's a room that everybody can go into at any time. If there's a live event going on, you can join the live event. You can go into the session pages, but there's not going to be a video room or anything for you to watch besides the pre-recorded session presentations, whereas the main stage has this video, um, live video presenting um, whenever there is something happening. So you can see that there's a schedule for the stuff that is happening on the main stage. You can see the plenary coming up for the first day. You can ask your Q&A um, questions and there's a chat. So again, in the sessions, when you go to the session time, you're going to be put into a live group video chat and you can choose to have your video and microphone showing and just talk with the Q&A. But for main stage events, the only thing that's available for you is the chat-based Q&A and you watch the live video. Sessions are not live, but you can talk to people live. Main stage events are, are live and you talk to people through the chat. So that's the main stage tab. The one immediately below the main stage tab on the left-hand side is titled sessions. So we know how to get to the sessions through the schedule, but say you don't really know exactly what you want to look for and what you're interested in yet. You're still, you didn't take time to explore the program because that takes a lot of time to go through. No big deal. You can scroll through all of the talks available at any given time in the sessions tab. See what seems interesting, see what pops out to you, and you can click on those um, talks and it'll take you to their sessions. So say I want to learn more about what to say when students ask about astrophysics, this particular talk. If I click on it, it will take me to where this pre presentation video is. And then from that video, I can um, go to the session. So it's just another way to navigate. Um, sorry, one second. It's taken a hot second for me to get there because I have too many tabs open. That is my fault on my computer. Um, but yeah, it's just a different way to navigate and for you to explore. So here, yes, thank you. Um, we are now in the, the talk presentations, but now I wanna go check out other things in this session at, besides this talk that I've gotten to through the session tab. You can click to any portion of the meeting that this is nestled under up at the top of this particular thing. So if I wanna go back to the reception area, the main homepage, I can click the 
either the reception icon or SM20 in the slash at the top of the title. I can click the sessions page, which would take us back to where we just were, the scroll through video menu of all of the talks and presentations, or I can click this particular session because I want to see what's related to this particular talk and what was grouped together from the program. Lots of different ways to interact with finding things on here. Do what makes the most sense for you. In a similar way to how sessions can be found both through the schedule and the session specific tabs, you'll notice that directly under the session tabs on the left-hand panel, there is a tab for posters. So if you wanna look through posters, if you wanna just kind of see a short screen cap of what it might look like, go through it more like a menu and less like a uh, word-based schedule. This one is far more visual. You can click on the posters tab and go through the same thing where you click on it. It'll have more information. You can ask questions at any point, but make sure that you get live question answers through the chat during the poster presenter time because your poster presenter will be there asking them live or answering them live in the chat. You can just go through this more visually on the posters tab. Going below the posters tab, we have our expo. So if you remember at the beginning in the reception, you could click on each of the sponsor icons and it would take you to their expo page. So you just want to look at all the people who helped make this wonderful conference happen. You can look at the expo page similarly to going through the expo and explore. If you're interested in one of our sponsors, you can go to their about us and it'll take you to where you get more information about them and you can learn more about that particular organization at the expo. If you go down to the lounge, which is directly below the expo, um, it will take you to the lounge page. Um, this will eventually take you to, I'm wondering if it's just me not loading right. This is going to be a live room where you will have an icon that you can walk around in and explore with other people. So let's see if we can get to one of the other rooms and try that out. So yeah, if we wanna to go to the lounge, uh, when it is live on Sunday, there's going to be a room and the way that this room is going to look is not like a video chat but it's going to be a place where you will have a avatar-like icon and you will be able to walk around this virtual room that looks like an 8-bit video game. And you will have a video recording and an audio recording of your voice live. It will be like you're on a webcam, but the only people who will be able to hear and see your video are the people who are in close proximity to your character. So you're literally going through this virtual space walking around, bumping into people, hearing them when they're close to you, not hearing them when they're far away from you, exploring what people have to say, saying hello and meeting new people, just like at an actual conference. And I hope you get the chance to explore that. Um, maybe it's because, yeah. So this is the entirety of the online software. If you have any questions at any point, feel free to contact me. My job is here to help you out and make sure that you guys know how to navigate these things. My name is Stephanie Williams. An email that you can um, find me at is S-W-I-L-L-I-A-7 or Swillia7, like S, the beginning of Williams7, at terpmail.umd.edu. If you need help finding that, try searching my name at UMD. Hopefully it shows up and I'm in some of your conference email correspondence. Hopefully this helps and good luck. I hope you guys have a wonderful time exploring this version of the American Association of Physics Teachers Conference. Enjoy.